And it does look like it's a day where maybe getting the barbecue to go might be a better option oh. than doing your own little home cookout. Yeah. So probably good that you're doing some of these segments. There you that go. pretty good. And I would say between today and tomorrow, maybe you're just wanting to pull out the smoker, fire up the grill. Tomorrow may actually be the better option unless you got things going really early this morning and it'll be ready to go for lunch. And the big reason I'm saying that is because even though temperatures will look fine, we'll be staying in the 70s. Chance for showers and thunderstorms is going to be on the increase later and later we get into your afternoon. So let's start with what's going on the live vapor radar right now. Probably no surprise if you looked out the window. We have a nice calm start to the morning and a nice dry scan all across the state. Watch what happens when we zoom out though. All we have to do is go one state away to start to see not only some of the showers, but even down toward the Cincinnati area. So right around that state line with Kentucky, starting to see some rain, some thunder, some lightning. And the first sign of that here in central Ohio right now, it's been the increase in clouds and the south to southeasterly breeze. So the breeze ahead of this system, it's actually helping us in a couple of ways to prime our atmosphere for thunderstorms. The first thing that it's doing, well, it's bringing in all of that warm air. In fact, temperatures right now, 67 degrees, so we're starting off the day about five degrees warmer than normal highs for this time of the year. And all that cloud cover, well, that's just going to be on the incline as we head throughout the rest of the morning and into the afternoon. You notice though by noon today, still seeing all that dry air over central Ohio. We will start to notice that breeze pick up more and more as we head throughout the afternoon out of the southeast. And again, the two things that's bringing with it will be the warmer air and more moisture to really help to fuel widespread showers and even some more of those afternoon thunderstorms, especially by about two, three o'clock in the afternoon. Also want to point out the spread in our high temperatures today off to the west and then down to the southwest, especially that's going to be where we top off in the mid 70s simply because well, the rain's getting here earlier. That'll give those of us up to the north and east. So areas like Coshocton and Zanesville better opportunity to work our way back up toward 80 degrees. So as we fast forward through the afternoon and into the early evening, it's especially that 2 to 6 p.m. time frame that we'll be watching for not only rain showers, but embedded thunderstorms that'll pack the punch of not only thunder and lightning, but if you find yourself underneath one of these storms, they will be popping up all across central Ohio, giving us heavier pockets of rainfall and strong gusty winds. So we'll be talking about wind gusts over 30 miles per hour, which shouldn't be enough to create widespread damage, but certainly will be noticeable. Now, just like what we experienced last night, we will see a dry pocket of air kind of move in late tonight into first thing tomorrow morning. So it'll give us a nice mild start to the day tomorrow, but watch what happens as we head through tomorrow morning and into the afternoon. This time the rain showers, they're actually going to be pushing their way down from the northwest and become more widespread by tomorrow afternoon. And the reason I'd say tomorrow might almost be the better day for grilling simply because we won't have the thunderstorms. So it'll be as soon as we start to see the thunder and lightning make an appearance across central Ohio that it is time to go indoors after we lose the heat from the day. So after about eight o'clock, we start to get rid of that risk for thunder and lightning and just leave behind a soggy night ahead and heading again today and tomorrow, despite that chance for rain and even thunderstorms in the forecast, not all day washouts. We'll be watching as we head toward the work week to kind of normalize those temperatures, making them more seasonal, which will be cooler, meaning lows in the forties and highs in the sixties.